everybody welcome back to my channel so if you watched my last video and if you follow me on Twitter at all you know that I have the ColourPop brown sugar collection and I figured we could try it on together um, and if you also follow my Twitter and stuff then you know right now that I am in California it is currently six o'clock in the morning here which makes it nine o'clock in the morning where I'm usually at but it also means that um, unfortunately for the last few days I've not been doing too well you can see I'm pretty puffy and just uh, yeah full of fluid today so we're gonna try and do this the best that we can and get through it and hopefully you guys enjoy it so let me adjust the camera and this new light thingy here there we go I'm not sure which way I like like you can see a shadow there let me see here I think I like that lighting just a wee bit better so I think that's what we're gonna do okay so if you guys watched my last video you know that I also have more than just the um, brown sugar I have their foundation um, and a bit of other things to, to try on um, with you guys I think I got their translucent powder their um concealer a couple other items but we're gonna go ahead um i got their primer and their setting spray that's right okay so that's the first thing we're gonna do so we're gonna grab out this uh all-star color pop setting um not setting spray uh primer here and we're gonna pop this on you guys know that I fell in love with the um, Too Faced Hangover, I think is what it was. Let me see here. Let me see here. Yeah, Hangover RX one. You guys know I fell in love with it. So hopefully I like this one. It says that it's a matte blur primer, so we'll see how it does. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. So I know that you said that we're here to review the ColourPop, but along with that, I have something else that I want to talk to you guys about. So recently, I don't know how much you guys listen to on Twitter or who all you watch on YouTube but um of course I am sure if you watch anybody you know James Charles just released his collab with Morphe I'm I'm totally excited for it mine did show up in the mail but as you guys know I'm not at home so I'm not quite doing a review on it yet but but there's been so much controversy like oh my goodness it's crazy um, that it is not FDA approved for the eyes that you know it's dangerous that it's giving people burns and hives and uh, staining their eyes and all kinds of stuff and the thing is is um you know I worked in the medical field so I'm gonna give you my personal opinion here's a disclaimer though do not take this as medical advice that is not what I'm giving you um, if you have an issue with any makeup product or anything go see your doctor go to the ER go to a dermatologist go wherever you need to go do not take this as medical advice please thank you get that out of the way okay so what I do want to say though is yes it is true very true that it is not FDA approved for around the immediate eye area and that is because some of the items in his palette are pigments okay so what is the difference between a eyeshadow and a pigment of course I'm sure people have heard of loose pigments which means they're not pressed into a pan but basically an eyeshadow is 
a lighter watered down version of a pigment it does use pigments but they add so much to it to make it easy to make it fluffy on your brush to make it just you know there um it's watered down so you're not going to get as much of the color on your actual face um that being said sorry <coughs> does that mean that pigments are bad for you no um believe it or not in some countries not here in the u.s i'm sorry that my head is kind of at the back to you i'm looking for my eyeshadow primer and for some reason i think it jumped ship <laughs> um just one moment so this is the bad thing about being in a truck things get moved and shoved aside there it is okay um anyways as i was saying in some countries uh england even believe it or not that little warning that is on the james charles palette that is on let's see here i think it's on uh, the Jeffrey, well, I know it's on the Jeffrey Star Blood Sugar Palette. Um, and a few other ones. I think it's on the Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag Palette. Um, believe it or not, other countries do not have to put that little warning on it. Because to them, it's not that big of a deal. Why? Because the reason that it is not approved for immediate eye use is that it can stain the skin. So, if you're highly sensitive to dyes, it may stain your skin. That's it. That's it. Even if you get it in your eye, you're going to be okay. Um, so, basically, you know, there is a lot of controversy and discussion about the palette. And, you know, I've seen some idiocy things, I must say. I'm not going to mention the names that, you know, are saying these things. Or that's been on Twitter ranting and raving about a little bit of staining on their eye. I will say the hives that this person got. Yeah, that's, you know, that's very, very, very unfortunate. And I do feel bad for her. You know, she has an allergy that she didn't know about. But, of course, she went off on James Charles about it. Saying that he had lied to his fans because he didn't put it in his video. But, really, I don't think he lied. He may not have even realized that it could cause the hives and stuff. I mean, he's been dealing with makeup, yes, for a very long time. Oh, I'm just popping some of the ColourPop foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm really, really hoping that it matches me because it looks pretty dark. Nope, I think, it's, I think it'll work. Anyways, um, she really, really, really went off on him about supposedly... Ooh, I guess it is a bit may not be quite the right color but we're gonna make this work we're gonna make it work don't worry anyways uh she really went off on him saying he lied to his fans because in his video he did not do like jeffree star did or manny mua did in his video where they mentioned that it's not fda approved for around the media eye area and jeffree star went into a little bit more detail talking about what a pigment is and why why it's not um fda approved about the staining of the eye and uh this girl watches jeffree star like religiously so i do say that not everybody in the world's gonna know that pigments could stain your eye area and uh James Charles did say that he thought it was just, you know, common knowledge that you should know. But unless you're watching, like, beauty people on YouTube or anything like that, you're probably actually not gonna know that it could stain your skin. Okay, I think we are pretty blended here. It blended out nicely. It's a little bit thinner, and I wound up using quite a bit more than I normally do wound up using quite a bit more but that's okay um now i know for next time uh anyways back to what i was saying we will still talk about the whole color pop thing in a moment 
I know that um, this is supposed to be about ColourPop and here I'm talking about James Charles and Morphe but we'll get on from the whole James Charles Morphe thing in just a moment um, I just want to kind of finish this up uh, so I know that she knows or should know that pigments can stain um, I know that she watches Jeffree Star because well she talks about him a ton on um, Twitter and she even got his newest palette so that being said I'm pretty sure she knew that pigments could stain now as I was saying though is it a bad thing no it's not it's not a bad thing pigments can stain it'll come off in a few days while yes the hives wasn't a great thing you now know don't use a pigment of course she said that it didn't happen with other ones and that could be the concentration of what's in a pigment so what is in a pigment of course just like any eyeshadow if it's pressed it's gonna have talc and other items in it to make it stay in the little you know pan but basically when you're trying to be vegan and cruelty free you have to use certain dyes in your eyeshadows especially in like your pinks and your reds and those dyes can sometimes stain your skin and yes in some instances it can cause mild to severe allergic reaction just depends on if you're allergic to dye and for some people that sensitivity could cause a mild allergic reaction to a severe allergic reaction I guess you could say so I would highly recommend that if you did purchase the James Charles Morphe palette that you do a swatch test on your arm arm people on your arm like on the inside here not on your face and I know that this girl said that she did but she also said that she only did it for 10 minutes the problem is yes there's a problem there it can take up to 48 hours 48 hours people 48 hours yes you heard me correct 48 hours for a full swatch test to be okay um, when you think about these people that dye their hair at home, <coughs> sorry, um, the box tells you to do an allergy test, you know, test it on an inconspicuous spot on your skin about 48 hours before you plan on um, dyeing your hair. And the reason for that is it has the same, believe it or not, it has the exact same dyes as or some of the same dyes as what's in this palette that everyone's screaming about right now so I will say yeah I'm not gonna not try this palette now there are people saying oh by the way I just used the ColourPop no filter concealer and now I'm going to use the ColourPop no filter setting spray under my eyes and I like I'm not real dewy so I'm not sure that I mean, I'm going to set, I will be setting the rest of my face though. So give me just a moment here. Nearly as in depth as, um, Jeffree Star. So we're going to leave it at that. I don't think it meant that he lied. It just means that maybe he didn't even think of any of it. I don't think it was intentional. I don't think he meant to hurt anybody. So, Okay. Now that I'm done, you know, talking. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Look who I got. It's Dobby. I love my little Dobby. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Like, through the roof. Totally. Completely. Yes. I would marry that man. Yes, that's true. I would marry that man. So. But, anyways. Let's get on with the rest of this review. So, in this little collection, I got... Um, I actually got more than just the collection. I got the um, 
Disney designer collection palette. Um, it's a princess thing. We're not doing a full try on of this today. I have actually been playing around with it a bit and I really like it. It blends out nice and I like the colors. But the whole point in this video today is this brown sugar collection and that is what we are going to continue to play with. It came with this lovely little palette here. It, I still have not removed that little plastic protective thingy majigger. There we go. Off the mirror. But there is that beautiful palette. You can see I have I have played around with it. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I just couldn't wait. Okay, it came with I'm trying to make sure I've got all of them. It came with three I believe creme color gels and a bunch of lipsticks as well. <clears throat> so today we are going to be playing around with all of it. So the first thing is this lovely, lovely little palette and we're going to do an eye look. So let me see here. Okay, I think we need to find ourselves. Get my brush set up. I want a nice little fluffy brush. So as always, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics number 101. And I'm going to go into <coughs> Chia right here. This nice little tan. And we're just going to pop that all over. The lid area. Hmm. There's not much pigment to this one, but I mean, I am using it as like a transition shade. It seems to match match my skin color, so it's not like yeah, it's not really showing up. So next, I'm going to go into Jamocha with the same brush, though. It's here in the middle. We are going to pop that on this outer corner in a nice little circular motion here and move it into the eye. Now, do you want to talk about like where to place, where do you place eyeshadow? So a lot of people just, you know, would stop here, just place it on the lid area, but you want to kind of go out to where your eyebrows are. Like so because that's like your entire eye area. If you only pop it on that middle, like right in here, it's going to look unfinished. It's not going to quite look right. So always try and do your eyeshadow all the way out to the end of your eyebrow. It's going to give you a more finished look, um, a more professional look if you're at home and you're just you know, playing around trying to learn new makeup stuff. Always try and just, you know, find the end of your eyebrow and follow it out to there. So, so as you can see, I just kind of popped this on that outer corner and worked it across my crease and my upper lid area there. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. It's not like a blinding color. It's not real vivid, but it's, trust me, the color is there. It definitely um, blended out nicely. So next I'm going to use a angled, um, like fluffy type brush. And I'm going to go into Amber, which is also in that top row. It's this nice little brownie pink shade here. Um, we're going to pop that into the crease. So we're going to start at that outer edge. Kind of tapping it, you should say, putting it here and just kind of patting it on there and then swiping it into the crease, especially, and just blending that into that crease area and then just kind of pulling out a little, and that's it. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna um, like blow that corner out with this color too much. So 
just kind of stamp it here on this outer corner and then blend it nicely into the crease as so. So I don't know how much you guys pay attention to my subscriber count, but I like have been paying close attention and watching it rise up recently. And we are very shy, not by much, but shy of that 500 mark. Well, I know that I said I wanted to do a giveaway. First, I said it a thousand, but no, I just, I want to like say thank you to those of you that are still here hanging on tight with me. So I then said 500. But I thought, you know what? 500. That's, that is a beautiful number to hope for. But I also want to say thank you to everyone and say Merry Christmas and just be nice to my little lovely fans here. Um, next I'm using an eyeshadow, like, packing brush. We're going to go into... Oh, hang on, I want to swatch these. Uh, I don't know which one I want to do. What's the look that I'm going for? Sorry. Okay, so that's Chalk and Sorel. I think it's the eye look that I've got going here already. I'm going to go into Sorel. Which is this uh, more brownie shade here. But as I was saying, I want to just kind of wish you guys a Merry Christmas and everything. I'm just going to pack this on the lid, guys. Like so. So I have decided to go ahead and start the giveaway. So, they're in the description box at the end of this little video is going to be instructions on how to enter the giveaway and you need to stay tuned right now because you don't know what all's in the giveaway do you no um, at the end of this review video I'm going to show you everything that is in the I wish you a Merry Christmas giveaway so just stay tuned till the end and you'll find out and uh, just read down in the description below and you'll also find out how to enter for the giveaway. Okay, so I don't quite feel that the eye is finished. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab back out my concealer. We're going to see how well this concealer does for not a full cut crease. I'm not cutting the crease actually. I just want to put like a little halo in the center of my eye if you like know what I mean so I'm just gonna grab a little flat a little packing brush here we're gonna can you see what I'm doing here just on the lid like that. cut out just the center there and then do the same to this left side So we have just like a little center part cleared out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same packing brush. I'm just going to kind of wipe a little bit of that concealer off. And we are going to go back into the brown sugar palette here. And we're going to use Auburn, which is here in the middle. It's kind of a shimmer shade. We're going to place that right on top. of that concealer I'm actually going to use my finger here guys oh much better okay so we're going to place that on top of the concealer just kind of oh, can you guys see that Adding it in, and then we're gonna take 
a fluffy brush and go into the um, Jamocha from earlier and just kind of smooth out that edge so it's not quite so rough of a blend there. Now we're going to do the same to this side. I'm just going to place that there in the center of our lid and then we're going to take our fluffy brush and just lightly hit these edges and blend them out like so. Okay, but now that we've done that, we need to finish up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pencil brush here. I'm going to dip into amber and jamocha on the same little dip there. I'm going to run that up under my bottom lash line here. We want to make sure that we're connecting it here so that it doesn't, you know, just look odd on the bottom. And we're going to just run that across that lower lash line. I'm not going to bring it down super far. I, don't, I just want to lightly run that up under there. Now we're going to do the other eye here. Like I said, make sure that we're connecting it in this, this corner here. So, Okay. Wow. I'm really, really happy with that look. Um, I like this palette. It's very easy to work with. But now we need to go ahead and look at these creme colors here. I think I actually want to use it like um, an eyeliner. So I'm kind of trying to decide which one to use on that. Okay, I think what I will do is use um, Nut right here. It's a nice little coppery shade. And I'm going to use that as my eyeliner on my top. Yeah, I'm just dropping it here on that top lid. So I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics 107, just a flat angled brush. I'm going to pop this on the tip of it there. We're going to use it. I'm going to see how it does. Maybe not. I think. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see that. And I know I can't. Maybe too light of a shade. Let me see. I've never used these creme colors before. So. Um, let me try maybe. Rum, which is a bit of a darker shade. Let's pop this on the brush as well, and let's try swiping this across the lid as an eyeliner. Here. You can see it. I'm not sure you guys can. It's there. Okay. Can you can you guys see that? I think so. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better. So I think that is the one I'm going to use here on my eyes instead of a black eyeliner up top. I'm going to use this cream color. It's a little thick and heavy, though. I will say that. But I like it, so that's what we're going to go with. It's kind of, don't quite, 
It feels a little heavy and sticky though on that outer corner where I winged it out a little. So, yeah. Okay. So we're finally getting to the end of this here. We have everything on except for the lipsticks. We've tried everything from the brown sugar collection on. So we are going to swatch those really quick. And that is it. Um, we will discuss, you know, what we think of it. And then we'll go over the um, giveaway. So give me a moment to pop. Well, I'm not going to pop on lashes because I don't wear them. But to put some mascara on, do my brows, my cheeks, and I will be right back. All right, everyone, so that is it um, for the makeup portion. Oh, that's a little harsh, but that's okay. Um, so we need to talk about the lipstick real quick. And that is, you know, all we have left from this beautiful, wonderful collection. Um, so it came with a few glosses, I think two. I'm trying to dig them out here. Yes, two glosses and one, two, three, four, yep, four lippies, lipsticks here. Um, let me see here, is this part of it? No, uh, sorry, I'm not sure, but yeah, I believe that that is all that was part of the brown sugar collection, so we're going to swatch these bad boys real quick and that is it so this one is cinnamon nice pretty brown oh. yeah. my application was not good on that one as you can see kind of overshot just a little so much better. Not perfect here. There we go. Okay. It's not. Yeah. Definitely wasn't my favorite application, but I think that's more me than the lipstick because, I mean, come on, it's a normal lipstick. Um, this is the color though, cinnamon. I like it. It doesn't, I'm not sure I like it with this eye look, but I like the color. It is, I like, it's smooth. It's not sticky at all. So I like it. Let's get this one removed. Oh man. I am definitely messing up my foundation here, guys. That's okay. We'll fix it in a few minutes. Okay, next. Let's see if I can do a little bit better at placement with this one. This one is Brick, which I really like this color. It's a reddish brown. So, let me, instead of looking in the camera to do this, let me see here. much better um i like the the color on this uh it's like got undertones of red and maybe a little purple uh it's got good coverage it's not real sheer it's smooth it's creamy i like it i mean it's just like the other one in texture so let's get this one off here Ah. Yeah, my foundation's coming off, that's for sure. 
that's okay. That's just part of swatching, and we I will fix it later. Next is Chocolatier. It's another creme. It says it's a deep brown. Ah. There we go, and I totally and completely messed up right there. Sorry. Um, but no, it is fixed. Okay, so I like this color a lot, actually. I love, I'm like not a, I'm a brown person for my lips. I don't like reds and stuff, but I really like these, even though there's an undertone of red. Um, I'm, not sure it goes with this brown eye look though. I'm not sure so far which one's gonna. My lips are not like me right now. They're already swelling and I've only done three. What is going on? Ugh. I know that you're gonna hear me doing that. That is like yeah, horrible right now. I have spinal fluid just wanting to leak out of my nose again. Um, I went to the doctor about it and they said like that my shunt is garbage. So yeah, that's been lovely. Okay, next is a nude. Next is a nude that I forgot to say the color. It is called Butter. And it is... smooth and creamy like butter um I don't mind nudes but I also don't like 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 them when they're the same color as my skin like this one is because it's like I have no lips of course it has a pinky undertone and I guess off camera it doesn't look as bad as like as I'm looking at my viewfinder that I think it looks on camera so that is all of the actual lipsticks from the kit we have two though lip glosses real quick and then we shall go over the giveaway and be done with it okay so the first one is the brown sugar um in blowsy sorry i was looking for the color name okay it's a brush i'm usually used to mm. i love smell it's got like a chocolatey scent to it so okay guys I like that and I even like it with the eye look so it's not sticky it's a little thick but I mean it is a lip gloss so they tend to be thicker I like it. It's not like doing that eh, torn face, uh, line, sticky stuff. So I like it. Um, so if you watched my last video, if you look in the description of that one, you will find links to all this. Um, I'm not going to actually place links in this one because that took me three and a half hours to get all the links last time. So I'm not doing it on this one. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now we have the last, like, glossy lip. It says Ultra Glossy Lip. Oh, it is in the color Dumpling. It looks like it's going to be another nude, kind of like uh, butter. So we're going to try it. Wow. 
Okay. She's streaky. I don't mind her because it is a lip gloss. But she's pretty streaky. You don't know if that's because of like the brush applicator that's in there instead of a normal applicator. And I'm not, I don't know, I don't like that one. So out of all of them, I loved all of them except, I mean, I probably won't wear very much at least. The two nudes, which the lip gloss was one, and then the color butter being the last one. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't. Wear either one of those. But, I do like this lip gloss, so I'm going to pop that back on. And now we're going to discuss what I think of everything. Is it worth it? Um, how did it perform and everything else so I like the foundation um, throughout the whole process of filming it seems to have held up we'll say it cracked just a little bit here but I did have to wipe my nose a time or two so I'm gonna forgive it there um, I love the translucent powder um, and I like the setting spray I'm not much of a huge fan of like complete matte um, foundation so it was a matte and then of course I sat it with the setting spray um, with the setting spray which is also matte and they also set it with powder so I'm a little too matte and I did use a um, highlighter and bam baby you can see it there I got my highlight going on so I don't know I just yeah not a big fan of how matte it is, but that's okay. That's, you know, there's things that we can do to fix that or, you know, change that. Um, serums and stuff like that that we can place inside of it, our foundation. So, all in all, I give the foundation like a 8 out of 10. It, was, it performed pretty good. I'll know more as I wear it throughout the day. Okay, the brown sugar palette. I like it. It blended nicely, as you guys can see, um, and the color payoff is really nice. There wasn't a lot of, there wasn't, well, you can see, there's no fallout. So I'm really happy about that. I give it a 10 out of 10. The lipsticks, the same. They all performed really well. Even if the colors aren't necessarily for me, they glided on smoothly. They were beautiful. They were pigmented. So I give them a 10 out of 10. The lip gloss, the first one blows in here. 10 out of 10. Um, the other one, I don't remember the name of it now. I'm going to give like a 7 out of 10 because it was really streaky. And actually, no, sorry. I'm blowsy. I'm going to drop that down to like an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 because I'm not real heavy with that um, applicator, the brush type applicator. It just wasn't as smooth as a doe foot. So, that being said, we are going to do the final part of this video and that is this giveaway that I was talking about. So, I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody that's been watching and you'll have to forgive my daughter up there. She's moving around and making a ton of noise. So just please hang in there. She's getting like, come on mom, but we're going to try and get this done. So the first thing is just telling you, um, that you have to be subscribed to my channel and that's, you know, the, the rule and there's more rules that are going to be in the description, but the things that are in the giveaway are. We're going to do this really quick. Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pin, a Cosmetics Superhero um, Mascara, this nice little pleather bag. Um, We're doing the Cover XX, FX Glitter Drops, uh, Way Wee Leave In Hair Conditioner. Two lip scrubs by Beauty Treats in vanilla and almond creme. We have 
a So Susan Cosmetics Color Trip Loose pig <coughs> Sorry, Loose Pigment Incredible You Glow Girl. Um, you can see it's still sealed here. Uh, translucent. Looks like uh, it says Iridescent Jelly. A Jaunt Blue Glittering Star Eyeliner in black. Uh, Morphe Blush. Blend the Rules. And last but not least, a Fresh Rose Face Mask. camera to focus that is it for the giveaway guys so simply click down below and um follow what it says there i will also post about it on twitter and on instagram but good luck to everybody um i will ship it out hopefully hopefully if you guys get it um get back to me whenever i announce the winner um i would like to ship it out around the 16th so hopefully it'll get to you by christmas it is open to everybody, not just residents of the United States. So, good luck everyone, and again, I hope you guys like my review, and I will see you soon. Bye. Every single day.